Control. Scotty found this puppy last night. Well, not a puppy. She's an old dog, but I don't know how old she is. I can't. She tell. is the coolest. I'll tell you that. She's so let me explain what's going on. So last night I was on my way home from the bike shop. I'm going down this dark road. There's guardrails on each side, and I saw this animal going across the street. I thought it was a deer at first, or at least like a baby deer, and it turned out to be a dog. So I pulled over. The car behind me, thankfully, didn't hit it. I backed up and I got the dog to go into this like driveway area. There wasn't many houses on this road. It was just kind of like a dark back road. And it was about 9 o'clock at night, so it was pitch black. I noticed it had a collar on it. It looked dirty, I'm not going to lie. I saw it had, there's some growths on it. You can see like on the back right here. Hey girl, come here. There's a growth on her back right there. There's a growth on the side of her leg. I was really hesitant to approach the dog because I could tell it was a pit bull. And you just don't know the upbringing and whatnot. I noticed that the dog had nipples, as you could tell. So I imagine that it just had puppies. So what I did was, I took actually some muffin crumbs that were inside my car. And to keep her from going back in the road, I put the crumbs on the ground so she'd stay over there. And after a little while, I just slowly was just talking to her through the window. I opened up the door, she came over to me and she was hanging out. And she actually was a really, really nice dog. I called the police to see what we can do. A police officer showed up and he really didn't have much to, to say or do. We called animal control, but they never answered. And he said, hey, can you bring her home for the night? And I said, sure, no problem at all. So what I ended up doing was trying to get her into my car. It took forever. I didn't want to pick her up. I didn't know how she'd react to that. So I wanted her to come in on her own terms. So little by little, I was trying to lead her into the car. My wife came with dog food, brought her over. And we gave her some dog food, we gave her some water, and such she, a good girl. She really is such, such a, a great girl. dog. So she we ended up her. giving her some water and we gave her some food, and she was happy at that point. And we finally got her in the car, we got her back to the house, so and as you can see, there's a red collar on her. I put this on there. The one that she had on was super tight, it was really tight against her neck. And as I pulled it off, there was like matted hair stuck in it. It looked like it looked like something from like TV shows, you know, when they go and they find the beat up dogs, it was, it was, it was kind of sad to be honest with you. It took me a while to get it off. It must have been on there for a real long time. And you can see there's a lot of like built up nasty hair on it. Look at right here. This is the underneath part. Ugh. It was disgusting. You poor thing. What I ended up doing was I made her a little bed in the garage. I set up a fan so it was nice and cool for her. And she ended up laying down and she went to sleep. Um, and she's actually like a really great dog like I, I don't know how my bulldogs would react with her I would keep this dog in a second because she is so sweet and she's so smart she doesn't need a leash she just hangs out with us it's a really smart dog watch this go sit 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 good girl never even you never even met this dog before and she sits for you. That's pretty good. You couldn't, he couldn't get one of his four bulldogs to sit without having a pound <laughs> yeah. of food in front of him. It's the truth, it really is. So I'm in a situation where I'm trying to figure out what to do with the dog right now. Animal control is actually coming here and he said, he goes, I don't have to take her, but I do want to make sure, I want to check her out and make sure everything's okay. But one thing that he talked about, he said there was a car accident. The car flipped over and the dog got tossed and they couldn't find the dog afterwards. So he said he wants to see if that's the dog which would be really crazy, but he's coming for that. So animal control will be here in a little bit. We'll check back in when he gets here. All right, so John just showed up. John, you work for animal control? Uh, correct. Okay. Yes, I know. So you're, you're in the area around here. Um, first look at the dog. What, what's going through your head when you see her? Uh, she's the, actually the third dog we've picked up that's been dumped. And uh, there, there is a breeder. We don't know his name or who he is. We've been looking for him and stuff like that. They're trying to bring these dogs into English bulldogs. Mm -hmm. uh, one person saved the other one. Okay. Uh, I have the other, uh, other one that's closer to English bulldog. And this is the third one. So they breed them out almost to death. And then they just dump them. And, and it's not right. It's not right. So looking at you know her body, she's got the the growth that's on her leg right there. What what is that thing? And that's from constantly laying down, breeding, uh, uh, nursing the babies and stuff like that. So it, it winds up turn turning into like a memory tumor. It's very so hard. So it's from her laying like on her side and the babies correct. eating off of that. Correct, correct. Then it's months at a time, and it'll breed them back. You know, when when she starts doing that, just like any other animal, they go back into heat and they get uh, breed them back and. 
the, the person gets tons of money for the for the uh, babies and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. And again, once they're done, dry, they discard them. And, and they and don't have it. use for them. That Correct. is so sad. She is the sweetest dog. I, I can't believe how, how nice of a dog she is. Mm -hmm. And the other two are the same way. Really? The other two are the same way. And they have the same, they don't, same features and whatnot, too? Absolutely. So. They don't have a mean bone in their body. That's got to be pretty haunting to see, though, that well, happened twice there. It's hard. And, you know, it, and the catch these people is really hard because they move around. That's another yeah. thing. They move around town to town. And once somebody gets, uh, 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 you know, wind of them or whatever, yeah. they'll call SPCA and or animal control, local animal control, and they're gone. Mm -hmm. Once they catch wind of it, they're gone, stuff like that. So Because, you know, the bottom line, what's going to happen here is if nobody adopts it from the shelter, they're overwhelmed. Shelters mm -hmm. are overwhelmed. And a dog like this, people, not everybody puts their heart out out there and stuff like that. Yep. It's gonna, in seven days, you know what happens after that. That's, I'm not even going to get into it. Yeah, that's seven days. That's it. It's done. But a, a good dog like this, I mean, come on. She don't bother anybody. She won't start any fights. Then on and on and on, you know. So. It's crazy. That's so sad. That's terrible news. It really is. This dog was used for breeding. There's some scumbag out there that's breeding these dogs, uh, using it, just so using this dog, getting puppies out of it, and just dumping them out. He said it's the third time. He said the dogs are all the same, and that's that breaks my heart. Her back molars. These are five-year-old molars. Come here, boo -boo. And it's hard for the parrot mouth to look at the pet, to look at over here. Yeah. Usually you see the, when the canines come in. Yeah. They're fully grown. And you see these molars? Yeah, in the back. They're gone. So usually they'll come in and you'll see them okay. healthy, like, I don't know how to explain here, like a full molar, mm -hmm. it's almost gone. Yeah. So that's five years old, so halfway gone, 10, and it could be 10 and older, depending. Mm -hmm. You understand? So, you understand yeah, I, that? I get what you mean. All right. So you're, you're, guess, you're, you're guessing she's about 10-ish? At least. Yeah. At least 10. Mm -hmm. And then if you even look at the front teeth, too, they're there. They're, deteriorated too they're gone yeah they should be higher up and stuff like that in the gums thing. Uh -huh. so what kind of dog is mikey right here he's chihuahua <laughs> chihuahua las <laughs> ops he was actually born on the farm he is cool he's a little oh, he's he a looks mess. like a little stuffed animal uh, <laughs> oh mikey so we're going to take care of her we're going to keep her around and try to find her a good home because this is a shame after hearing you know her scenario it breaks my heart thank you so much for coming out here john no problem, i really man. appreciate it and if, if anybody, I mean, if, let's just say if somebody finds like a dog on the road, what would you recommend people calling first? Call animal control. There's a lot of good animal control officers out there yeah. that will knock on doors. That's what I do. I will, before I even bring them to the shelter, I will knock on doors and try to, and find try to reunite the uh, owner. Absolutely. Yeah. And okay. stuff like that. So there you go. Thank you so much for coming by, John, and helping us out with this dog. We're going to treat her good. We're going to give her a lot of love and attention. Well deserved. She's a great dog. All right. Well, thank you. Appreciate it, John. No problem. Awesome meeting you. Okay. I don't know how, for some reason, I happened to be driving past this dog at the right time last night. There he is. Hey, girl. So bad for her. Hey. We're just spending the day with her today. Figure I'll wash the car in the driveway for her. She was just hanging out inside the garage where it's nice and cool for her. Now she's just getting some sun. Hey, girl. Getting in trouble, okay? Look how hungry she is. Oh my goodness, you poor thing. She couldn't even wait to eat. I already gave you food today too. She's just so hungry. And you can see she's pretty skinny. Judging by the top of her right there. You can see her ribs a little bit on the side. She's over there getting the last crumbs. It's breaking my heart with this dog. It's killing me. Seeing that the shape that she's in, everything about her. She's such a good dog. I can't tell you guys how great of a dog this is. She is so calm and she's so sweet and she's so loyal too. I mean, she hasn't left my side at all today. It's amazing to see, it really is. I don't know if I mentioned it earlier, but that guy John from Animal Control, he says she's an American Bulldog, some kind of mix of American Bulldog. And I could tell in the face, I mean, she looks like she has a bulldog's face. Really, really short snout. Hey girl, here you go, you okay? She's always just hanging out with us. Whatever we do, she just wants to be around us. It's so cool to see. BMX has always been in my life, ever since I was a little kid. But even before that, I fell in love with animals. And I think I get it from my mom. She used to always take animals in. I remember I had a pet mouse when I was a kid. I had plenty of snakes and 
turtles and frogs. I spent most of my time down at the pond, like the lake that was inside my neighborhood. So as you can see, my tortoise is out right now. That's a leopard tortoise. I got him when he was about that big, and look how big he is right now. Dude is huge. He's the coolest thing. I love turtles so much, I really do. We have a couple tortoises. We have a few water turtles also. I haven't really showed you guys them yet, but the first real thing I was passionate about when I was a kid was animals. Ever since then, I just always loved taking care of them. So me finding the dog is really ironic because as much as I care about animals, I'm the one that's gonna try my hardest to find it a home and take care of it, so. But let's check out the tortoise, he's really cool. He's trying to hide underneath my car right now. He's getting big though, there's no way that's happening. <laughs> I like to bring him out and give him some exercise, let him walk around. <laughs> it's amazing, this dog just follows you wherever you go. She doesn't care to run away, doesn't try to chase anything. Cars drive past, she don't care. Just wants to be by you. Such a good dog. Poor thing. Come go. Come go. So checking in real quick. This is day three with the dog. What did we name her, Lee? Sammy. Yeah, we've been calling her Sammy. I don't know. She looks like a Sammy. It's uh, Samantha, but Sammy for short. Samantha. That's what we're calling her for right now. So we're bringing her for a walk. As you can see, she's happy as could be. Chewing on, <laughs> chewing on the leash right now. <laughs> Come here, let me see. Tell you around. Good girl. Come here. Come here, girl. Hey. She is so happy. She's been enjoying herself so much. And to be honest with you, we've been enjoying our time with her also. She's a great dog. We seriously love her so much, we really do. She loves going in my garage. She doesn't like going inside, does she, at all? No, she's scared. You don't know, she's like so nervous about being in our house, which is so weird. Kind of converted our garage into her temporary home. I went and bought an air conditioning unit for the house <laughs> for her to keep her nice and cool. And look at her, just sitting down, just waiting for us. Seriously, like the best dog in the world. So I don't know, what should we do with you? Do you want to stay with us? You really do, you love us, don't you? <gasps> Give me a girl. Give me a girl. Give me a girl. Come on, so guess where she is. Sit. Sit. That's amazing. What a good dog. She's so pretty, too. We cleaned her up. As you guys can see, she's so white compared to that first day. We're gonna try to take care of her, and we're going to, I don't know, just kind of play it by ear and try to find her a home. The way it works is when you find a lost dog in New Jersey at least, you have to contact animal control and they have to put a hold on the dog and for seven days you are not allowed to transfer that dog into a different home. So we are keeping an eye on her. We are fostering her at least for right now and we are just going to kind of see what happens. She's gained so much weight already since we've had her, since we've been feeding her. You can just tell by looking at her. It's been three days. You guys saw what she looked like day one. Look at, you can't see her ribs right now. You can see her ribs a little bit on the side. It's crazy, isn't it? I'm feeding her a lot. Yeah, we've been feeding her a bunch. Look at how healthy she looks. Hey girl. She's so hungry. Come here. He's so cute. I don't know why I happened to be driving down that road at that time when I found her. But I'm sure glad I was right now. As you can see, we are in my garage. She absolutely loves my garage. We bring her inside the house and she's just not comfortable yet. We haven't introduced her to the Bulldogs because we want her to be comfortable with us. We want her to trust us before we overwhelm her with four Bulldogs. I mean, we're gonna introduce them, I guess, one by one and see how they do. But I want her to trust us before we do it. So for right now, this is Sammy's home. She loves the garage. It's crazy, we try to bring her inside the house and she just doesn't really, she doesn't like it, she likes it out here. We have a camera that we have set up over here that monitors her during the day so we can keep an eye on her and see how she's doing. And she's just really made this place her home. This is like her safe place in a way. You can just see how comfortable she is in here. And up there, I put an air conditioner in here to keep her nice and cool. <laughs> oh my God, look at her, <laughs> she's so happy. I just love seeing her turn from a dog that was 
I don't know, just look terrible, dirty, so skinny, so scared, so nervous to a happy, loving dog again. And to be honest with you, this whole entire process has really opened up my eyes on just seeing how much terrible things are going out there with animals and animals that people are supposed to keep as pets, that they're supposed to love and they're supposed to protect. And dogs are such, such loyal animals. Look at her right now. <laughs> it's ridiculous. She loves us so much. Any of you people out there watching this video, if you guys are looking for a dog, Please take a trip down to the local shelter and go and see if you guys can find a dog as beautiful and loving and caring as this, this girl right here. Correct the wrong. Try to save one of these animals and give them a good home that they deserve. I hope you guys enjoyed this whole entire process of finding and saving Sammy here. I hope this gets to a couple people and this can actually do some positive things out there. If you guys want to subscribe to the channel, I'm going to keep you guys posted on Sammy. I will let you know exactly what goes down, whether she goes to another family or whether she stays here with us and she becomes one of the gang with the Bulldogs. I don't know what's going to happen, but I love this dog. <laughs> I know she loves us, you can tell clearly. Until next time, I hope you guys enjoyed watching this one. And on behalf of me and Sammy here, I hope you guys have a good night. There we go. You guys good? Was that fun? No, 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 no. Good boy. Good boy. All right, guys, take a break. Whoa, 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 whoa. Take a break.